This is the last of our present series. And in six programmes, we couldn't hope to cover the whole time span of wargaming. I mean, let's face it, it runs from prehistoric to intergalactic fantasy. But the American Civil War is hugely popular with wargamers. And the most famous battle of that time is probably Gettysburg, which, in fact, was the turning point. A few years ago, I made a film in which I had to play a war game, and Peter Gilder built the terrain for Gettysburg for that film. After the production, I bought it and kept it myself. And you'll see it in a moment. I thought at the time it was rather special, and I think you'll agree with me. By spring 1863, the war was not going well for the South. And so Robert E. Lee was ordered to march north into Union territory. When he belatedly found out that the Union were onto him, he was compelled to concentrate around the town of Gettysburg. Coincidentally, a Union cavalry division arrived on the scene where it clashed with another rebel brigade, which had come looking for shoes, of all things. The Rebs won. The Union retreated down here to Cemetery Hill. But Lee didn't follow through. The next morning, General Meade arrived, called up his main forces, and the battle was on. There were desperate skirmishes for Round Top, down here, and Little Round Top, and the Devil's Den. And only the Peach Orchard here fell to the rebels. In spite of huge casualties, Meade's line held. On the third day, Lee failed to take Culp's Hill, up here. His artillery pounded away at Cemetery Ridge, here in the middle. And finally, Colonel Pickett led 15,000 Confederate infantry in a desperate charge at the Union, which Meade had expected and planned for. And they were massacred. The human toll was so great that the South never recovered, and the Confederacy was doomed. So this is our plan. The Union are on the right, and the rebel Confederates on the left. Jeb Stuart is leading the only rebel cavalry unit towards Gettysburg at the top which is held by the south. The remaining rebel forces are ranged along the road on the left, covering Seminary Ridge and down to Devil's Den. The Union infantry surround Cemetery Hill, supported by cavalry, and stand along Cemetery Ridge on the right, as far down as Round Top. Right, Paddy. If that's your opening position, we'll, we'll move. Right. I think the first thing I'm going to do is bring back General Meade off the slope where he's easily seen. Yeah. Sensible. Sensible. Going back to write the historic orders to retreat. Well, we keep them up our sleeves in case we need them later, but Good. don't anticipate that just at the moment. These have got a fascination for rocks. <laughs> They're sure potency. Just going up the top. We're going to make these loose. Dr. Paddy Griffith. He's a senior lecturer at the Royal Military College, Sandhurst, where he is also running the War Games Group. He's one of our historical consultants, too. He's Union. We've seen Peter Gilder before, but this time he's given himself a crafty advantage as he says they're his toys, his terrain, and he wrote the rules. I see you're developing a thrust on my right. Hmm. I don't quite know what that means, but I'm looking after me guns. <laughs> They got yes, a nice flank open yeah, to me true. on that side. I didn't realise your cavalry was going to be so bold as to stick its head round that corner. Right. Well, that's the end of the opening moves. So it's the guns now. The artillery fire first. Uh, right. We do have the long stick. We do have the dice. You better do yours, Paddy, first. That's You're in true. range of everything. Well, I think I'll have a go at that cavalry down there. That's it. You're going to be in medium range, medium aren't you? Range. It's a large-sized target. It's a large-sized gun, yes. So you need anything but a one on the dice will hit me. You can tell that Peter wrote the rules. He knows them so well. We a are. four. Four. You have actually hit me, yes? Knocked off some of Stuart's. Yes. So you throw... Are you loaded with shell? Yes. You're loaded with shell. I thought you might be. Yes. <laughs> That'll worry you throw dollars, another isn't? dice. This time this will give us the casualties. One, two, or three, one. One. We need go no further. 
one. Removed. Right, my artillery fire. These, of course, are very experienced campaigners. I'll just see Paddy first. That's certainly at medium range, isn't it? Oh, yes. yes. Uh, once again, if you can hold the end for me, please. That's it. Now then. Right, anything but a five or six. Oh, you've That's a miss. Overshot completely. It's almost impossible, isn't it? While Paddy and Peter continued firing down the line, artillery and musketry, both sides advanced, and the cavalry are now ready for a melee at the bottom of Cemetery Hill. And we rejoin the game as Peter prepares for some sharpshooting. All right, so I think now, Paddy, it's my fire. Um, I'll start off with the sharpshooters. Mm -hmm. Peter's firing rifled muskets. I'll the first fire. section is effective Twelve range. Longer. Second darker section is long. Probably effective range some now. Yes, One, this is... two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll fire eight at effective range on your cavalry. All right. It's the gauntlet we have to run. Okay. The gauntlet across one has to bear. Even Peter will have to look up the casualties coming from the dice I'm throw. Firing eight, effective range. Eight, firing a nine. Eight men throwing a nine kill one. Right, uh, don't take right. it off yet. I'm going to fire some more at long range. One, two, three, four, five, six. In fact, I'll fire them all seven. Eight that can. Another eight mm -hmm. at long range. That will mean half casualties. Throwing a nine. It's the same for hardcover. Nine gives us one. That's one and a half. It's still only one, isn't it? Yeah, so you've lost one cavalry there. The remaining... Scratched the horse's neck. Scratched, indeed. The remaining four will fire at your head of your column coming down the road. Oh, dear. Forget about it. <laughs> Missed. By the way, while you're doing your... Sheer panic. ...sharpshooters, can I do yeah. mine back? These little oh. fellows in the rocks here. I thought you'd forgotten those. No, I oh. just remembered. <laughs> oh, all right. Yes. Um... You're going to be effective range, aren't you now? Yes, you've got May I check up. it, please? Do you mind? Oh, well, if you must. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. breech loaders, yes. Effective yes. range. You see how the range stick is longer for the breech loaders? They were no more efficient than the rifle muskets, but took less time to reload. With a, uh, with a throw of eight. Gives you two. I think you must allow me hard cover now, Paddy, yes. in the rock. Um, so that's one. Now, the vital melee. Paddy's cavalry stands between Peter and Cemetery Hill. If Paddy routes, he'll take his support troops with him, leaving only a small infantry troop there, and Peter only two moves away. I did point out, did I not, that I do have shotguns. Several times. Several times. Well, I'll just make sure you did get that very clear. How many figures have you got fighting? Nine, isn't it? You are... Ordinary standard cavalry sabre yes, pistol, aren't you? sabres coming up, one or two with pistols. Right, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've only seven, but I do have shotgun, so I'm adding four to my dice, right? Right. This is the crucial one, and that's a 12. That's a little too good for me. A little bit, but yes. I'm adding four as well. <laughs> yes. Sorry about that. No, so that's 16, isn't it? Seven men with a 16, only kill three. Only kill That's still 30% of Paddy's cavalry. One. Jesus. Two. Three. Four. Five. Your, yours back. You did have nine, didn't you? I had you? nine, and so I'll throw the dice. Throw dice. You don't need a good one. He's kidding, of course. That's not looking good for you, is it? Really? That's pretty unhealthy, I think. Really? Nine men things, throwing they? a five. Kill one. Oh dear. Oh dear, the sheer that's fright. Another good rebel. Can I take him off? Oh, that's Sir. But never mind. Go and take Sir off. Sir was that's Jeb Stewart. Does mean you've lost the melee. Would um, you like to throw a morale dice? One dice? That's also awkward. 
He needs six a points two. or more to stand. Ah, now, plus, they are ordinary regulars, aren't they? Yes. So that's plus two is four. You've got to beat six, make six or beat it, which you haven't. No. So I'm afraid they turn and run away. Well, the top of the board has really changed. The Union cavalry has been routed at the base of Cemetery Hill and is being chased off by the rebels, taking one Union infantry unit with them. The Union still holds the hill. I wonder if Peter has spotted those troops lying in wait on the other side of the hill. Now, at the bottom of the table, the Union cavalry have advanced to the rocks. Well, I suppose I'd better get these cavalry out of the way now. Here, yeah, so if you would, Paddy. I think they'll take off your support squadron with them. There's no way they're going to avoid them, is there, straight uh, back? Yes, I suppose that's a bit of a traffic jam, then. And I These shall will have turn and be carried away in the route. I shall have to put... Perhaps you could help me there, buddy. Put that cavalry hacking and slashing. Chasing up the rear. Oh, yes. Firing shotguns. Repeating shotguns. <laughs> Rubbish, no such thing. Unfortunately, we'll have to support them, being another squadron, so they will have to come round as well. Looks like that. The 415. Well, I'm going to organise my. Robert so this is where I there. dismount my cavalry. I'll bring the dismounted troops over. He'll be using them as sharpshooters to pick yes, off the rebels in Devil's Den. All his Marshal Generals, view the scene, as this cavalry is gone. I'm hot in pursuit there. I still have Gettysburg. I'm going up the hill there. That's it, that's it, that's it. And we take the mounted figures away and replace them by dismounted ones, yeah? It's probably that they will have repeating breech-loading carbines. That was a favourite Union weapon which the South never had. I'm going to fire at the unit on the hill. I think they would... Now he's going to try and take Cemetery Hill. I think at 30 degrees then. Mm -hmm. Alright? Yes. It's, an, it's a large target, so I need... I, only, I miss with a five or a six. Oh dear. Missed. <laughs> yes. Miss with the first one. Second. That's a hit. That's a hit. Throw for effect. Six. That's two figures gone. If you'll make a note, because I've still got some yes. musketry. Says well, I think we'll have another go at these troops. Here. Ahead of us. Yeah. Here. That's the ninth Mississippi again. That's a hit. A hit. That's a hit. You want another dice? That's and a miss. Five. So that's two hits out of the yes. three. Yes. Your effect dice. Five. five or six is two, and you've hit with two guns, so that's another four off of the Ninth Mississippi. They've already lost two, so that takes six, which is two stands completely off. Yeah. Oh. You want to do your carbines? Mm, why not? You better check the range of those the first time you've fired carbines, it says here. That's the carbine. Shorter range, but they've got repeaters. 
Yeah, so you're so plussing, can... you're firing across to here. Yes, it's mostly effective. It's effective range. About 200 yards is considered to be effective, but they could hit up to 500 yards. How many are you not firing? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm -hmm. Twelve men firing, and you throw a seven plus four because you've got repeating carbines. So, so that seven eleven. plus four goes up to eleven. Twelve men firing with an eleven. Kill two. And it is effective range, isn't it? And they're in the open. In the open, so, so that's two full casualties off. Two of your sharpshooters oh, bite dear. the dust. Oh, dear. I'll put them there for now. I shan't put them back. Can I fire mine back in yes. this situation? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They will all be at those at effective range with a rifled musket. So it's twelve at effective range. Twelve with a six, kill one. I shall aim at the ones in the open, of course. OK. Peter will go on to hack his way up the line to they try to break that unit on Cemetery Hill. And Paddy will do exactly the same, hoping to halt the Confederate advance. So we'll pick up the game with the morale tests at the end of the move. Uh, I'd better do my morale check for those. You've plastered those a bit, haven't mm. you? Have we? That's a veteran. So it's plussing three to the dice. Three and Six. one is f four. Is my general influence? That's going to halt them this move. Okay, don't. I would like you to test the morale of oh, the yes, lads on the if hill, you if you wouldn't mind. Yes, they have taken a pounding. They got six. Six. Yeah, they'll be all right this move, I think. All right this move. Well, so far, so good. No, so we go straight on to the next move. Is there any compulsory moves to do? No one's running away. Oh, yes, you've still got uh, that just compulsory got to, to go. Running here. They keep go yes, because you're being pursued. Yes. And my cavalry will still keep in contact, pursuing you off. So if you could do that for me. I think your cavalry would probably think better of it when it comes up to the infantry here. Well, they'll probably, the ones that are in pursuit will certainly have to go on because they're still in among yours. But this lot will probably rein in just at the end of those houses, having done their one compulsory support move. We can get these great coats in position at last this time. You can, if you wish, take your great coats off. There we go. I've no <laughs> no objection at all. I shall deploy the rest of the company sheltering behind the house. So. I think that's basically me. They finished moving, but how much longer can Paddy hold Cemetery Hill? Because he's pretty well thinned out there. Now, now, we must test for your morale up on the hill. Oh, yes. Oh, my word. Here One we dice. Yeah, I've got to keep these chaps standing there, otherwise we're oh, for it. Oh, oh, snake eyes. With oh, one dice, word. you can't get better than that. Uh, one, well, there's no way they're going to stand, is there? Because you, you're less than 50%, which there. is a minus three. You're coming down to minus two, and there ain't no such number. So, yes, they turn and run. Well, Paddy's off. But what will Peter do? He, you don't run him. <laughs> he's no, he's nice. Along, I like him. I like along him. Slowly. He'll surrender. I'm taking a double move, Paddy, all right? Yes. I better measure it because I know us rebels. Oh yes, yes. I can get to the crest. Now that means he's going to run the famous Stonewall Brigade up to the top of the hill, so that they'll cover twice their normal distance. They can't do anything in the next move. Have they got repeaters? They've got breech loaders. Oh my God. I'm amazed that Peter hadn't realised he's now taken the hill, but he may wish he hadn't. Paddy really has pulled off quite a flanker. Crack troops, they've been resting for two days after defeating your other corps earlier. Not much I can do about it now, is there? Oh, all right, all right. Keep going, you fools. I don't like this very much, but you want I to fire those onto me, don't you? would like to do some me, short-range artillery there. You miss me with uh, 
They're both rifles, aren't they? Yes. You can't miss me at short range, so no, it's just don't effect. Need a dice. Just dice for effect. Yeah. That's five. Uh, five, but you've got me right in complete enfilade down the edge, haven't you? Yes. A firing in the enfilade means firing down the ranks rather than through them. So they cover the whole line in enfilade, both of them do? Yes. So you get a 100% increase in your casualties. So that's two. Two guns hitting is four. The effect of enfilade brings it up to eight. Can't be bad. It can't be that good, really, because they have... I've got one to carry forward anyway, so that's nine. So with the ones that fell off the hill did so righteously, mm. and the other three stands come whooping down, so they are actually dead. That's a good start. You might as well do your firing. I can't because I've taken a double move. Yes. Right, the other. And the other group, the Barrel Gar Garibaldi Guard. Yeah. New York yeah. Italians, aren't they? Yes, 24 of those. Eight, yeah. 24. It's five. five. That's not so good, but it's still enough, isn't it? Five. Another two. Yes. So I better carry those forward. That's two gone out of those. And then Is we've that... got some coming up from the side here. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six, three, seven, eight, eighteen. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. Oh. Twelve. <laughs> That's done it. Keeper. Double six. Smiling face, Gilda. Keeper <laughs> smiling. How do you do? Eighteen throwing a twelve. Kill another four, would you believe? I have two carry forward. That's six. That unit is now down to less than half, so Peter will have to check troop morale on the hill and possibly on his. Uh, two units each side who will react badly to a rout. They've really been massacred. i better check the morale of the unit that's just gone on top of the hill. I'd say you had, Peter. Where's my dice? It's this is the crucial taken one. Taking a lot of stick this time. Uh, they're below 50%, aren't they? Yeah. So that's a deduction of three. And they add three because they are veterans, so I'm adding absolutely nothing to the dice, and I, I need a six to stand. Anything below that is a rout. Four. It's a You're rout. Off. You're off. I'll have to test for those because they've broken onto their flank, so that's a deduction of three. Oh, they <laughs> rout with them. You guys will have to test for this unit. It's not enough, is it? Three goes up to five. I see a routed unit, which is minus two, brings me down to three again. So they have to retreat. He's been liberated. That's it for Peter. He'll concede. He's got three infantry units in route. He's lost the hill. His cavalry are gallivanting off the board. And Paddy, who kept his iron brigade under orders behind the hill, which did take quite a bit of nerve, because early in the game he could have used them. He now has, that's Paddy, has retaken the hill and inflicted huge casualties. It's amazing how that changed around. I, I think that I would I'm change, going back to change the history books and I would have General Meade Pursue. making an, a counterattack. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Yes, it comes out on a war games table, yes. the true nature of a man. was a near thing but it was a well-fought game and it was interesting because Peter and Paddy had never played each other before up to now we've seen war gamers who face each other across the table regularly and over the years they get a pretty good idea of the tactical thinking they're up against but neither Paddy nor Peter had that help and so they had to rely on their considerable knowledge of both history and war gaming and that is what it's all about we're given a set of rules and the toys and anyone can start to war game. 
But get, to get the most out of it, you've got to love the history and want to know more. We've only given you a keyhole view of what is becoming the fastest growing hobby in the world. It's not expensive, and it's very rewarding. And it's great fun. So you try. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.